Hello everybody and welcome to a new um, collection. It's already Art Crush uh, 38 now and um, it's colorful and um, with a lot of black but also with a lot of whites and um, it's about um, taking photos, um, keeping memories and it has um, <clears throat> uh, art Art and art, artsy bits and pieces pack. It has um, the first pack of page protectors, which is a wish of my CT since I don't know forever. Um, then we have um, 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 we have um, oh, in two different sizes. You get a twelve by twelve and a nine by twelve um, um, size. And then we have papers, we have um, a kind of cameras and frames, um, doodling pack, we have uh, cards, um, we have um, planner bits, we have stickers, of course the um, pocket pages kit contains all those um, five um, packs um, um, of the stickers cards whatever uh, quote remarks we have and word arts um, the alpha you see here you, you will get it tonight so um, on April 2nd um, at the chat at the slow scrap chat at the lily pad um, if you are a participant in this chat you will receive this alpha as a free um, later it will be uh, available as a product to purchase. So let's jump right into the folders now and we have the artsy bits and pieces pack. Um, already mentioned it's a lot about cameras and um, taking pictures, keeping your memories and this is how the uh, artsy bits and pieces look like. Um, I have <coughs> created always a version in black this time. Mostly I create a from an artsy bit, a version in white or um, uh, with a gesso uh, on top of it. But this time I have added them um, in black, but created, a, a, a put um, a kind of watercolor um, filter on top of it. So um, it really blends nicely. If you multiply the element on your pages, it blends nicely with different hues um, on your pages. <clears throat> um, yes, so this is how the artsy bits look like. Um, so uh, this and this is the same. I just, no, no, it's not the same. It's only same colors. With this, you can create your own kind of paper. You can clip this thing, for example, on, on anything else. Um, there are many possibilities how to use um, artsy bits and pieces. <clears throat> I love those cameras, really, they turned out pretty nicely. I really love the look of them and you also get here two versions. This uh, watercolor version here with some blue tones in it and um, the watercolor look and then we have this one with roses and it's um and here um uh how is the word called i don't know just <laughs> flowers and whatever and this is the second one or the second camera and then we have some hands holding a camera um i really love mostly this one i really love that one um the um, watercolor on top of it, the dripping paint here and also that one is pretty cool with the splash of color, the pink color here on the camera lens. <coughs> um, yes, always here you get, sorry, I have just a had just a coffee. Um, okay, better. Um, yes, the cameras always in two different versions you get them. Um, and then I added, never had something like that, like um, scribbled marks and um, also to here two version, uh, a sticker version and a plain version without a sticker border um, just around the element. <clears throat> we have some nice um, 
um, butterflies here, two different ones, and uh, also with a shadow and a non-shadow version buttons we have, and then some old cameras, and here also one with the glitter build that's only just an artsy element. Um, we have, I, I really, this is, this is kind of new, I tried that out, um, doing um, such um, confettis, painted them, and then added a filter, a watercolor filter on top of it, and I think they came out really nicely, and also that one um, with the blurry on the back and the real um, striking color in front. Um, we have feathers, also with and without shadow. Then we have some flowers here, pink flowers. We have different kind of frames. Some old black wooden frame. Here is a long um, white white frame. Another black wood frame. And then we have some different kind of flowers. We have some gerberas. I don't know if that's how you say it. We say in German, we say Gelbera, so that's how it sounds in German. Um, yes, uh, I made different kind of versions here, some filled with um, one of the patterns from the papers. And then I have another one, also that one is um, um, with um, this um, watercolor filter on top of it. So also here you can nicely blend it on, uh, on your photos or um, on top of your um, papers, um, yes, love that pink one, really, that's nice color. And we have some scribbles, and also they are in a kind of a watercolor um, filters style here. So not the usual one, they are a little bit, it looks like a little bit of blurriness they have, um, but it's like um, they blur like with the water on top of your um, papers we have <laughs> we have this um, lights here and then we have ooh, and then we have some leaves here also with and without shadows and magic lights in the last few collection I didn't add um, uh, one of the magic lights and I really really got some messages that uh, customers do do miss them so here they are we have some pins and i love the sunflower and then we have those tags and i really love them especially um so realistic and look at that um uh, foil um style and here with gold and i also love that one this uh, ampersand looks pretty cool so you can hang that somewhere. So this is the artsy bits and pieces and you get here um, two pack to downloads A and B file and um, you can add them if you want to um, or um, merge them into one folder if you want that. But for downloading um, I split them up. <clears throat> so I'll go now here with the paper mix and the paper mix contains some artsy papers um, some um, um, graph papers here. Um, I think they are always usable in any uh, uh, for any uh, collection. You can mix them with any other collection um, you have already. Um, they go uh, always, or you place them on a layout um, to write a letter, for example. Um, Ah, uh, my favorite, my favorite, I uh, just, my favorite paper is, I don't know, I really love that one. I really, it's very soft, but with, with um, this little kind of gesso, mm, but also on the, um, I, ah, yeah, the, the, the papers are, you own, what only, I say only, um, um, you get the 9 by 12 uh, papers here, they are the graph papers, and then you get the same papers in 12 by 12. So you have uh, those portrait size and then you have the, the square size. And then we have um, pattern style papers, like that one. 
Um, I think they, this paper will also work perfectly for any um, Easter layouts as it has like a little X on top of it. And we have here some grungy um, flower papers, another flowers, uh, stripes, and I love that one. Nice. And this one is also pretty cool because you have already a, a frame and you can use it as a frame and place your um, your photo in, in the middle and make a little bit of a clustering just around it. Not much because and actually the whole designing um, is done with the paper. And then we have those ones, um, combination or a variation in, in blue with neutral colors more. Also that one with neutral colors. Um, I wanted to bring in a really something neutral because we have um, um, so colorful elements here. <laughs> I love these, these little clouds. Um, this is the only dark paper in the um, pack. And some hearts, hearts work always. And then we have a few solid ones here. Um, only four solid papers, but um, and in neutral colors. So you all uh, get together. I think we have here 39 papers all together. Um, then we go here with the word arts. Word arts, this is how they look like. It's all about um, photos, taking photos, um, keeping memories. Also here you get uh, one of those scribbled um, elements. Um, it's this ampersand and this one. It's, this is a variation with and without the sticker. And then also here with the um, word arts, the design word arts, you have the sticker version and then you have the non-sticker version. Uh, they are all grungy with a little bit of those flakes on top of it. I love that one. Cheerful time. And quick click with love. Click count the memories, not the calories. Love that one. Just had a cake, which isn't, well, got from my neighbor. Um, <clears throat> every picture, picture tells a story. Love at first shoot. Love to shoot. Make memories. I really love that one. When I open it, it looks like that one. You have a little bit of a texture on top of it. And the same here with the memories are forever. And moments, smallest moments, and there are no bad, bad pictures. That's just how your face looks sometimes. It's really fun. And if you read that, it's... Um, Uh, it's awesome. I don't know. I thought there was a trick behind it. No, it wasn't. Be, be, where's? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I just wanted to to read only the the pink letters. Maybe you know that. Um. <clears throat> Next one is here. Today's moments are tomorrow's memories. And then we have those Dymo style um, sticker, not sticker, um, uh, word arts here. <clears throat> and some when life gets blurry, adjust your focus. And you don't need a time machine if you have a camera. So this is the pack with the word arts. It's huge. And I think you can cover a lot of your um, um, layouts if, when you take photos of to, 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 to keep your memories and about taking photographs, selfies, whatever. So then we have um, the next pack are the page pocket uh, protectors. They come in two versions and in two sizes. So we start with the first one. First of all, I need to open up uh, um, um, where it is. Where are my papers? We just had a, um, one paper and we used that one. So page pockets. 
as you can see, um, there are two versions. Um, we have when you put them here on top, and then we have the second one or the next uh, second version. And this is how they look like, middle, middle, and I'm gonna scale them down just a little bit for you and place it. Hello. This. And it, as you can see now the difference. We have here this three hole uh, thing here on the side. Or you have it without it with the three holes. This is the, the, the difference between or the versions. And of course um, the same here with the 12 by 12 ones. Um, just drag and drop one, double click, drag and drop that one, and we turn that off, we make them center it, and 40 40 just, yeah. So this is how um, the square ones, 12 by 12 ones look like. <clears throat> square one is always the size of the page protector with the little pockets. Um, this is plus. So um, um, it's this one isn't that squ right squared f size. It's a little bit more, but this is the square size. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> Okay, um, and, and this is how they look like all. Um, best of if you see the the, um, the previews, they are also available in the shops. Um, there are always six different kind of um, grids, and this is how they look like. And so you have one full with only square, and then we have here some different ones. And I think um, it depends on how they now run in the shop and how you all like them. I will sure do in the next few months um, some different grid versions for them um, that my CT starts to be silent about them <laughs> and not tell me that they need and want some how to use them the best way um let's see um i'm going to add here another one and um no i don't want to go there i need to go to the <coughs> bridge here so we go with the 9 by by 12 um size now and um let's see i just want to this one this size copy paste okay the best way is to work with them if you if you want to use it how it is um, as a as an element on top of it and place underneath your um, cards and whatever your journaling uh, or your pictures so place it on top and close here with the um how is it called and lock it just lock it um then you start to work you 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 select the background and then you can add now your pocket um pages elements first of all here are the cards and now we see and go into the cards and see what we have here we have the three by four and you get them also in three by three always. So this is how they look like. And uh, let's scroll through them. And a lot of place here, for example, to, to, to put a journaling on it or anything else also here. <clears throat> um, photo of the day. Also here you can add your own journaling or you place a photo if you want to um and um let's start we use that one the best way is um if you want to 
to clip anything if you can work with clip arts go to the uh, rectangle tool and start to add here one of those rectangles you can fill it with the color what you want to so this is your you start to middle or place it just the right way nah so this is it then you put command J duplicate it and place it to the next one so first of all you start to add masks now copy paste and this is why you lock the the page protector that when you move things here around that you um, don't move the the protector around uh, so we move it over here and press command press shift and make it go now you have set up here for your cards um, the, the masks um, then we need another one for the big picture here and if you turned on in, in Photoshop the snap um, at the rulers here snap then you will be sure that the when you move that around that it snaps right here in the right position and um, you have always the same line okay uh, this is it this is this then we add here that one okay so now we have um, added now here our masks for um, for our pictures and uh, for our um, cards what is now not working anymore is uh, for me the pixels I need now a photo um, just have a photo Loads. Um, okay, that one. You can drag and drop now your photo here. Um, of course, you need to select. Let me go back. You need to select that mask you created re rectangle. Now you want to put on your photo or card, whatever. Okay, you now you can drag and drop that. Place it on top, scale it however you want to, place it on top, and then you go and make a clipping and clip on it. I only can do that. Create clipping mask is here. So it clips now here to the already created uh, mask. And um, if you want to move it around, this is how you can. You can scale that. If you want to have the focus set differently, you can do that one. Um, okay. Then we have the cards, for example. We can we select that now, and no, we have that one. We move that and scale that a little bit. And also here, clip it. <clears throat> and this is how you can set up those kind of page protectors. We can go back. And then we have the 6x4 overlays. They don't work now just with that kind of um, grid I have because we don't have a 6x4 spot. Um, but just to show you but you also could could do it this way that would also be nice so these kind of photo um, lens um, overlays are also included included and do have the size of six by four and this is one title card which which I've added 
also. Um, then we have the three by three sizes here. Um, we copy it and place it here. We have here the square and I didn't choose the right. Okay, so this is it. This is how you set up your um, page protectors. And now you can start here, add your, um, um, your text if you want to. Um, if you if you have some issues to, to read that, of course you can set up your text on top of the the page protector, so it's better to read. But if you want to have this kind of realistic look a little bit, you can have um, or go that one. So this is up to you. You can set up here your date. We have here the. 2nd of April. This is how we write in German a date. We don't start with the month. We start with the day 2021 and maybe we choose Insta. I have a, some cool fonts here called Insta Quote and they are really nice hand lettering, handwritten fonts. Um, they are oh, um, I bought them, they uh, are not f available for free. So location, this is my hometown where I live, but I uh, don't want to have them in Versal. Okay, so this is it. Also here we can choose another font. And this is how you set up all the all of the um, page protectors. Of course, now you can start to design a little bit, and for that, I have the planner bits for you. Um, if you want to add maybe this daily planner, I added that in in a bigger size than usual. Um, well, you, oh no, I changed the channels. If you have any, so nah, I need to hurry because uh, in about a few minutes, I have a date at the pool with a friend. So we want to go to 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 the pool and swim, to have a little bit of fun. So this is also possible. Okay, you can clip that. Um, going back here to the planner bit folders and then we have these little um, bits here and if you want to add them here just move them here's a little spare free spot here but what you also can do is you can also add here on the free spots um, some artsy bits if you want to. Um, for that you can leave that spot like that and go to the artsy bits and maybe pick that one. And then we clip that. No, that's the wrong. Um, no, that, that that is something what I don't understand what is not really cool with the. You cannot clip and have the the back mask, the mask itself hidden. So this is something that is not working or I don't know if it's working. So if we start from from scratch okay this is the mask okay we'll leave it how it is and then we add here of course this um, artsy bit we place it here and then we go to the rectangle or the mask itself and go to it here you need to click on the little icon just and select pixels 
and then you go to the just added artsy bits uh, and make a clipping mask here around and then you can turn off this rectangle or the mask itself and then the artsy bit shines through if you open up this little um, lock here you can scale it down and keep the the mask itself and um, this works with um, all kinds of um, artsy bits you can place here the butterfly on top also here if you want to put it just underneath the um, page protector and have the, the little details of the page protector um, um, going over the butterfly just place it underneath and uh, so here we go also here we can add here one of those and add here um, we can add that here or if we turn that off we can add that on a photo so we go back to the planner bits the planner bits will come in two different versions we have here the uh, also the sticker version and then we have um, the um, the version without this the, the borders just around it um, then we have quote remarks also here two versions sticker and non-sticker version we go here with the sticker version this is how they look like they're perfectly if you want to add a little bit of a, a shout out uh, on a on on one of your images you can scale that of course so add it here maybe if you have some of the sh sh shadowing styles from um, previous um, collections you can add a shadow or create one of your own and also you can add here your own kind of journaling if you want to just copy paste here the one we have and place it on top so we have that one here if you want to you get all together um, 18 different one of those um, marks and uh, they come in two different versions let's see this is the other version so we have here the sticker version with the grayish um, border just around it and then we have this plain one without anything around it um, then we have um, stickers also here you get two versions the sticker version and the uh, um, plain version without anything and there you have a lot 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 of different kind of um, flowers and also they look pretty yummy here and you can decorate a card if you want to by your own put a little detail on it just a little bit and they have a little curl on top of it so here if you want to have it um, just on top of it like really a sticker just place it up on the very high position of your of your um, elements of your layers so you have it on top this is also possible and um, this is how they look like like that one the black one I really loved just such black elements here they um, make it kind of um, you have a nice contrast and this is how they look like you have really different kind of those cute flowers I love that one that's like a peacock um, like from a peacock um, so you can build them together or you can add here a little bit of a um, leaf <laughs> it's like so if you want to have an extra depth then you add another shadow here on top of it 
so it's not much designed here but um, this is how they look and you get pretty much I think we have 54 different kind of stickers here in this pack I love those little ladybirds yeah this is it and also here you get two versions we have here the the one with the sticker and this is without the sticker so this is it um i'm gonna show you now no didn't do that in the beginning the layouts from my team this is what they created this is a little bit of more artsy style here also that one and then we have here one with um using the page protectors and the pocket style pocket pages style also here one artsy and then we have pocket I love that one that's pretty cool especially with the pink and the old photos and um, the black and white photos and then the colorful elements this is total realistic one really love this with the kitty and um, photo of the day we have here um, um, set up here with a, a date and here's a white one which I really love also here and um, really beautiful documenting what I see here is that the girls just made the that the, the cards just really go directly um, on the corners uh, or on the edges so we have here yeah this little um, gap between and what some girls really made, it's, which is really nice. Um, how can I do that now? It doesn't work here. So without, well, the, the, the rectangles, they go really uh, on, without any gap um, on each other. So they snap right on the edges. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes such um, things to explain are really hard. Uh, I hope you understand that. So uh, this is um, what I mean. They really are close without um, any gap. Also pretty nice. And this is an artsy one. And we start from the beginning. This is it. Um, I hope you enjoy this um, new collection here. Um, spring is coming and uh, I think this will go perfectly with taking photos now going outside here in the Western Hemisphere is this right um, the Aussies they go right into the autumn now so sorry for that one um, I hope you enjoy this video and we're gonna see us and stay safe um, take care of you take care of your loved ones uh, stay as far from each other as you can without um, getting this virus um, it's still crazy world here um, and um, we're gonna stay connected and um, we're gonna see us in the next video I think bye